A special dedication was held Tuesday to honor one city's first responders. News 9's Skylar Sabansky has more from the ceremony. A flagpole dedication ceremony was held outside the Steubenville City Hall to honor and recognize all of the city's first responders. Steubenville Council members dedicated the flagpole to all the men and women of the police, fire, and EMS departments, acknowledging their daily commitment to serving and protecting the community. For all that they do for us citizens in the city, when you take their putting their life on the line pretty much on a daily basis to protect us, they serve us. These are the heroes here that defend you every day, our police and fire, and makes this city safe. And that's why everyone should feel good here living in this city because our men and women do an outstanding job. Many members of the police, fire and EMS were on hand, as well as the Vietnam Veterans Support Group. Steubenville Fire Chief Carlo Capaldi said the dedication is valued. It's nothing we expect. It's nothing we ask for, but uh, we appreciate it. We, we appreciate the gesture. Um, and not only for the current first responders, but for those who, who passed before us, those who gave their lives in, in, the, in service to the city. Steubenville Police Chief Kenny Anderson said it shows a great sign of support from council, but it is also a great way to honor and remember the hard work and dedication of many individuals. Who have uh, dedicated years of their lives in service to both the police and the fire department. So my hope is um, whether you're retired or an active member of either the police or fire departments. Uh, for us, it's our officers, our dispatchers, and our support staff. Uh, when they drive by and they see that flag, uh, I hope they take time to remember that it's, it's there uh, in their honor and it's a tribute uh, to their hard work and dedication. Getting a flagpole outside of City Hall has been something First Ward Councilman David Allball has been working towards since he took his seat at the beginning of the year. And he said he is very proud. It's been long overdue, and we've needed this here. And, and it, it shows unite, unity throughout the city and through the country. Reporting in Jefferson County, I'm Skylar Subansky for News 9. Hi, I'm Jessica Riley. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to view, and also take a moment to subscribe to our channel.